paper doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hey dolls! Welcome back to another vloggy vlog! That was awkward. Okay, today is Tuesday. Yesterday I up- yeah I know honey! Yesterday I uploaded my vlog so now I decided to vlog again today. The plan was not to vlog or film today. Honey, what is it? What is it honey? Water? What is it? You want water? Okay. She wanted some water, you guys. Let's go talk over here in this mirror. Yes, girl. So, anyways. Oh, yeah. There we go. Do it looks better in this, y'all. I gotta find the right mirror, girl, that looks the best. So, the plan was not to vlog today. It was just, I was going to... I had a couple other videos I needed to film and just mainly TikTok content, which I'm about to do right now. But I also had a fitting and an audition, which I told you guys. And I got a little nervous because I got my call time for my fitting and it was like at 9.45. And I also had to get tested for COVID before I did the fitting. So I was like, oh, this is going to be cutting kind of close. Because sometimes you never know. You could go into a fitting and it could take, it could be really fast. Or you can go into a fitting and it could be four hours. Like, or eight, not eight, but four hours, you know? And I know with me, I'm a really small person and my body is not like the typical body. So people are constantly, anytime I do get a fitting, I just feel like it takes longer than the average person because they're constantly having to alter things. Of course, my fitting did take a little bit long. They had to pin a lot of the stuff. Everything was huge, girl. I was swimming in the outfit, swimming. So they ended up like, pinning everything and having to adjust everything they ended up having to give me new shoes they also ended up having to um pick three different looks for me because they, they're like we're not sure what we're gonna end up putting you in so yeah that was fun but i had a lot of fun and also i was a little worried because i was like oh my god i need to make it to my audition but they hit me up and was like hey is it cool if we move your your read time till tomorrow? Um, one of the uh, producers had an emergency and he's not going to be able to be at the read. Can we move it? I was like, hell yes, you can move it. Go right on ahead and move it. Thank you, universe. Huh. So I pretty much don't have the audition today. And I'm happy about that because it's like 11, a little bit past 11 now. And I literally just walked in the house. So... I wouldn't have even had time. I would have been late. But anyways, I want to show you guys my cute um, going to a fitting outfit, I guess you could call it. I'm not supposed to have these shoes on in here. I'm going to get in trouble. Um, but shoes right, I'm just wearing my Pumas and my some high socks, it's my Calvin Klein socks. Just going for the like model off-duty look. More like, mm, it's actually giving more influencer off-duty look and not model, but it's okay. I, you guys have seen this fit. I got this from Marshalls. Um, it's a sage fit. It also comes in brown and I think in a cream color. I wish it came in a black, but I should have just gotten multiple like colors because this is so comfortable. I wouldn't actually work out in this. This is more like a lounge set. Like think skims, not like you know fitness outfit it's material is just so freaking soft and it's just a cute little outfit and i love this sage green for the fall i put this brown flannel underneath my coat just because this coat that i have this poofer coat the inside of it has this like swish swish material and i hate this material against my actual skin directly so i just ended up putting this brown flannel which i felt like i could have just wore the brown flannel i didn't really need the coat 
because it's cold outside well cold for california <laughs> it's like chilly outside i'll show you guys it's like gloomy let me show you so it's like gloomy outside you guys can see it's like really gloomy and dark which i don't mind um i actually love gloomy days i just don't want to have every day be gloomy but yeah this flannel i got from ross last year and then this jacket you guys already seen in my fall haul this year and i love it yeah the jacket was a little too much it was way it wasn't cold enough for this but it was still cute i got tons of compliments and not just from guys because you know guys will compliment you all the time they'll be like oh you're so cute oh you're dope oh you look you fly but you know it's different when girls compliment you it's just like oh oh you mean it you really mean it also wearing my nike hat because y'all know this is my, I love wearing caps, especially with wigs when I'm out. And then I have my like gold hoop earrings, just some plain gold ones. I actually need to get more of those. And my Aries necklace that I always wear. And girl, I popped a nail. I'm so mad about it, but I saved her. I was like, uh-uh, you're not going anywhere. She's in my pocket and I'm going to stick her back on. I'm just happy that like everything worked itself out. It's like you never know. And even when you like, I woke up today stressed. I was like, oh my God, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to make both of these things on time. And I don't really want to cancel or reschedule or be late to the audition because that's not a good look. And it was through a referral. So I definitely don't want to do that. Like I like, no, <sighs> but it all worked itself out. Anyways, just wanted to pop in and say hi. I'm probably going to chill. I might even go back to sleep. I might make some tea. Oh, I can't go back to sleep. I actually have things I have to do. I'm going to go uh, post some TikToks and stuff and or at least film them. Have them ready to go. Fix my nail, that kind of stuff. And I'll hit you guys later. I don't even know if this is going to make it into a vlog. I don't even know if I'm going to be vlogging this week because... I didn't, I didn't decide if I was going to be vlogging this week yet or not, but I guess here's a day, a random day. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, I need to get off the camera. I love you. I'll see you. You later. guys, I just put this fit together. So cute. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see it? I have my bling boots on. So cute. I'm dying. My bling shades. My pink hair, of course. Yes. Oh, let me give you guys an OOTD. Bras from Victoria's Secret. Fanny pack is from AliExpress. Pants are from Forever 21. And boots are from, oh, Fashion Cues. Yep. So that is the outfit. And I just tried on this outfit for a photo shoot to see if I like it. And I love it, girl. It looks so cute. I really feel like this is definitely like me. Yeah. I feel like this outfit is so cute that I actually well, took pictures in it on my phone. And I'll probably post them on Instagram. But I'm probably going to do like a professional shoot with them too. Because that's what I was trying it on for. Oh, I look so incredibly orange. I hate that. Um, but yeah, oh, by the way, I just got a text from my manager, or not my manager, what am I saying? I just got an email from my agent, and you know the booking I was telling you guys about in my last vlog? Well, they want to put me on hold, so fingers crossed. Y'all keep doing y'all voodoo and y'all witchcraft and y'all prayers and all of what y'all do, and just bless up, bless up, because, I mean, I've been on hold a lot before, but... I have a feeling and hopefully I'm not wrong but I probably am but anyways I just want to share that news with you guys even if I don't get it I just want to say thank you so much for sending like your blessings my way and your good vibes my way because girl it did something even if I don't get the job it got me as far as it did so blessed up but I'll talk to you guys soon I have to be really quiet. Hold on one second. I have to be quiet. Okay, dolls, we are in the bathroom and I am being so quiet because actually my plumber is here. We had some plumbing issue that issues with a leaky sink and also issues with our toilets, like making loud noises and not flushing for like two hours at a time. 
So the plumber is here. He's working on everything. He's been here since 9 a.m. So that's why I have to be really quiet. And you guys probably hear noise because um, I don't want him to think I'm crazy in the room talking to myself, which is why I've locked myself in this bathroom. Anyways, I just got a call, y'all. And it was the call. Okay, I'm booked. I booked the job, you guys. Thank you so much. I know that your prayers, your wishes, your good vibes, your witchcraft, everything that you've done, your spells, whatever, girl, I appreciate it. I humbly accept it because I do believe that that is really what like pushed and propelled me forward. Anyways, I booked the job. I'm so excited. I'm working tomorrow. Um, I just got the call from my from my agent and then I got another call from the casting director. So <sighs> And he was so nice. He was like, hopefully this will be um, many more of us working to the start of many more of us working together. So I was like, yes, thank you. Um, yeah, they loved it. They were like, we love her. She's just a natural and she just looks so natural. So excited. Anyways, you guys, um, it is 1045 and I still have not 1045. What am I talking about? 1145. Um, and I still have my audition for the other project that they rescheduled from yesterday to today. And that's for a film. So, the oh, by the way, the, the other project that I just booked, that's for a commercial. So that's like just something different. But today is for a film. So um, I have that in like 15, 10 minutes. This is how I'm dressed. I hope you guys can kind of see. Um, I'm just wearing this top. They can't see my bottom, so I just put on some sweatpants and I have like my house shoes with my fuzzy socks on. But girl, um, I put on this top because my character is like a teen vampire. She's really like vampy. So I feel like this matched her. Um, anyways. Wish me luck. Y'all, I'm asking for it again. Put up your prayers, put up your hopes, put up your jeans. Oh, by the time you see this video, Ashley, though, I'll already know. Oh. So you won't even be able to pray for it. Okay, I gotta go. I think he's done. Hold on. Bye. Okay, guys. Wait. Let's see. Can you guys see over here? I hope you can see and it's okay. I just finished my Zoom audition. Well, I didn't just finish it. I finished it like 20 30 minutes ago but i had to film and get a tiktok up because i have been committed to posting on tiktok every single day this week um so i had to, on both of my tiktoks my acting one and my wait you know what the lighting i don't know if i like the lighting here but yeah i had to post uh a tiktok on my acting page anyways i did that really quick like 20 minutes ago and I finished my audition and honestly you guys I had no idea what was going on I felt I did not feel good about that audition I'll be honest with you um I just felt like I, I, I didn't have enough information I wasn't really sure what was going on and I tried to I tried to pull as much as I could from the script it ended up being a cold read because they sent me the entire script for that episode so I wasn't sure which scene they wanted me to work on so I kind of just tried to learn them all but then again I really didn't have time to so I kind of skimmed over all of them so I kind of knew what was going on in each each scene but I just didn't like know it like I didn't have it memorized pretty much which is fine I don't mind doing a cold read um but yeah I just felt I don't know I didn't you know how I don't know I don't know how to explain it I'm sure I did fine um but it's just like you know how you it's hard to say say this because I don't know who's an actor who watches my channel and who's not <clears throat> but it's just like you know when you do it did a good job like you can feel it even if people tell you oh my god you did so great oh my god we love it I've had I've been booked before in jobs where I was like oh I'm surprised I got that because I was just like I didn't feel like I I did my best and I don't know I just felt a little off about this one um but you know what it's okay I'm gonna move you guys over here because uh, I feel like the windows there oh yeah look beautiful lighting I should have did that at the start of this conversation but it's okay like not every job is going to be for me and I'm still finding my way through this industry and figuring out what's for me and what's not for me um, so it's totally 100% fine if I get it I get it if I don't I don't if I don't there'll be something else that I'll book that will be for me so 
that's what I'm telling myself. Anyways, I have a few more videos I have to get up and film. Today is Pink Wednesday, so happy Pink Wednesday, dolls. I am going to be announcing the giveaway a winner in my in the video that's going up tonight. It's the spooky nighttime routine. You guys have already seen it by now. I will be announcing the giveaway winner and then I will be reaching out to them probably tomorrow, in between today and tomorrow, to let the winner know that they won and get all the shipping details for that. So that's one thing. I have to edit that video now because I literally, I didn't do an intro to that video or an outro so now I have to go get dressed and film an intro and an outro for that video and then finish editing that and get that up I want to get that up early today I want to try to get that up by six in between six and eight typically you guys see I've been posting in between like 11 and 12 like 10 and 12 um, I try to post around eight o'clock but sometimes it just depends on how YouTube and if YouTube wants to be my friend or not <laughs> Typically, if I have a longer video, it takes longer the process, so the video might not go up for hours. Um, and it's not the internet, you guys, because I have great internet and it's fast. Anytime I upload smaller videos, I think just the vlogs take a long time. This video should go up pretty quickly, but like I said, it just all depends on how YouTube, if YouTube wants to be my friend or not, let me upload it. Um, but I'm going to try to get that up early for you guys so you dolls can see it. I'm so excited for the winner um i won't say it in this well it doesn't matter at this point but i'm so excited for the winner anyways uh, enough about that i just filmed my tiktok and i'll show you guys uh what it looks like it's so cute and funny i just couldn't think of you guys know that tiktok where it's like oh so you want to stalk every form of social media i have <laughs> and then turn around i finally did that one it's an oldie but a goodie so here it is social media I have and then turn around and tell all your friends that I'm a crazy bitch and I'm the problem. Baby, you look like a fan. Do you need an autograph or something? Should I call your mother? You look lost. I just think this is the audio is so funny so that's why I posted that it doesn't like a lot of times people be reading really deep into like posts I don't know why they do that especially on TikTok like if you do especially if you do like a reenactment or a voice they're like who is this for? Hmm, I wonder. Like, on my last uh, TikTok, on my acting page, it was the one with the girl was like, either we're gonna be together or we're gonna be together. Or I'm gonna be with you or you're gonna be with me, but we're gonna be together. That one. And like, people were in the comments, I mean, guys, but like, somebody in the comments was like, oh, where's this? where was this girl at the party that, that I went to with my friend or something like that? I don't know who this person is, but apparently they know me. Maybe I went to a party and they were there at the party they were like who is this person where's that person at my friend's party that one time when we were hanging out and I was just like hmm what I, like people be trying to shade you on TikTok it's like this has nothing to do with your friend's party this is not anything to do with me this is just me having fun with an audio track but anyways oh and I posted another one yesterday it was so funny I love this one too I'll show you guys one more show me why I should be a bitch. <laughs> See, it's just funny. But then people will be like, ooh, who are you talking about? Like, who, who, ooh, who's, who is being a bitch? Who's making you feel like you need to be a bitch? And stuff like that. Like, people that I know, like, friends that I personally know, will say stuff like that. Like, they'll take TikTok so personally. It's like, it has nothing to do with you, child. It's just me playing having fun with an audio so um i try to put that in my comment not my comments but my uh little my uh what do you call it my caption i'll be like oh love this audio just so people know like my real friends not other people it's like my real friends and family just so they know like i'm just doing this because i love this audio and it's fun and it's nothing like sh i'm not throwing shade at anyone Anyways, that's what I just finished doing. I posted that TikTok. I now have to edit and post another TikTok on my, oh no, I posted my pink TikTok too today, you guys. Ah, I didn't tell you this, but you already probably see it if you've been following me on uh, my pink Instagram, then you already saw it, but I did do my hair reveal on my 
my um, pink Instagram today. I was just so nervous to post the pictures. The pictures I took yesterday of me in that pink outfit, I posted them on Instagram. I just wanted to see what people thought about the hair. And I also just wanted to see how I felt in the hair. And I felt great. I think the hair is a vibe. I think she has a whole name. There's a whole character. And her name is Pinky Fly. DJ Pinky Fly. Like, that is that character with that pink hair. Um, so yeah, I loved the look and I was a little nervous to see what people thought about it, see if people liked it or not. Um, actually, let me just check. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I was about to say, let me see how many likes I get. No, the likes doesn't matter. But um, yeah, I was just curious and I was nervous because I've never had my hair any type of color before. So I was just nervous to see what people thought. But yeah, this is the TikTok I post of the hair too. I understood the assignment. Did the assigner of the assignment understood who they were assigning the assignment to? You know, you have to ask the assigner on that one. Personally, I don't think they did any research. Yeah. I understood the assignment. Anyways, the caption, it was supposed to be, I messed it up. I don't know what happened, but it didn't go through. But the caption was supposed to be, when they tell you to just be yourself. And then you have the audio, you know, I understood the assignment. And, um, and I'm just like dressed in all this pink. And, you know, I'm just being myself. But it's like it's too much for people sometimes to be yourself, and I don't, I don't, I've never gotten that because like sometimes when people are like not matching my energy or aren't like me, I don't feel like oh my god they're oh they're being too much, and if I do feel like that, I'm just like you know I'm not on their level, and I'll say that to you like I need to get on your level, like I'm not on your level. But I just feel like people get overwhelmed by my personality. And I know this is true because my twin sister has actually told me this. That like I have an overwhelming personality because I'm just so strong and eccentric in who I am as a person. Anyways, I don't need to get into a long rant. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce the hair and I felt like this hair feels like me. Um, uh, the style is cute. I don't know if the style is me 100% of the time because you guys know I love to wear my hair like kind of straight and wavy but I do have a pink wig, an ombre pink wig that is coming that I want to try out as like an alternative so I can still keep my pink hair like when I'm not wearing the pink curly wig I can wear the pink straight wig, I'll probably get a pink ponytail just so I can switch it up but I still want to keep the pink in my hair because I really do like that. I showed Bunny the photos and he was like oh my god this is so eccentric like <laughs> He thinks I'm crazy, guys. He's like, she, she, this lady is losing her freaking mind. But honestly, it's just who I am. I love pink. It's my favorite color. And I love pink hair. I've always loved pink hair. I actually have quite a few friends that have pink hair. And I'm like, dang it. I wish I could get pink hair. But I just always felt like it was too... I, did, I just felt like I didn't want to attract the wrong attention. Um, you know... I, that's mainly what it was and also the acting thing but if I could wear wigs and have my pink hair baby I can have two worlds yes anyways dolls um I'm gonna go get some Duncan oh you know what or should I just make some here I could actually make some here I'm just being lazy and I actually like really just want Duncan like I don't want to make my own okay I think I'm gonna get Duncan and I actually wanted to go to the dollar store because I needed, but I might do that later. I needed to pick up some cleaning supplies because I'm doing a cleaning video, but your girl is out of cleaning supplies. So not all of my cleaning supplies, but some of them. Also, you guys, I saw a bug in my room today. It was coming out of the freaking, um, the sink and I was just like I don't know if it has anything to do with the plumbing or what but that just creeped me out so now I'm like I want to clean my entire house which is great because I'm gonna do a fall cleaning video why am I why, why am I acting like that anyways you guys I just want to update you let you guys know what's happening right now um, I'm about to get the Wednesday pink Wednesday video up and my audition did not go as planned but I'm still hopeful and I'm staying positive and I have to get ready because I actually have to go to set tomorrow for the booking that I just got. I'm, I'm shooting the commercial tomorrow, actually. They told us that it would be a quick turnaround, so I knew that I would probably find out if I got it or not the day before because they said it's a really fast turnaround. And um, casting was just taking their time because I had this the uh, audition since last week. Friday. I got the audition last week Friday, so it's now Wednesday. 
and I'm just finding out like almost a week later and I'm just finding out and it's the day before the shoot so it's fine because it's just a commercial so you guys commercials are so easy and fun like it's just like be yourself and be fun and, and they're so fast so yay the only thing is is the location is pretty far so I'm trying to decide if I want to rent a car I definitely don't want to take uber because girl those uber prices are cray I definitely don't and if anything goes wrong I don't want to be stuck dealing with the uber situation so I'm thinking I might like do get around you know that app get around where you can rent a car but also um, one of the people from set texted me and they were like hey I just want to put you in a group chat in case you wanted to carpool or in case anybody wanted to link up and carpool to the shoot tomorrow because it is kind of far or whatever and I was just kind of like yes I do <laughs> Uh, but I was like, yeah, I would love to carpool with someone, and I got gas, you know. If someone will drive, I got gas. So at least, hopefully, that'll be a little bit of incentives for somebody who's already going over there. It's like, I might, I'm going over there anyway. I have to drive over there anyway. I might as well accept her free gas and give her a ride. Because otherwise, I'm going to end up renting a car and paying for gas to get there and paying for gas to get back. Like, I'm going to end up paying more because I have to rent the car, pay for the gas. So I might as well just pay for gas and take a ride with somebody else. And I'm definitely not, I can't, I don't, worse comes to worse, Uber. And that's the worst. That's like, I couldn't figure anything else out tonight, so I have to Uber. Anyways, you guys, enough rant in the ranting. Enough of me ranting. Uh, I'm going to go get things done now. And yeah, I'm so excited about tomorrow. I'm so happy. Um, I'm gonna be taking pictures and I'm gonna be posting on my acting page so if you guys do not follow me over there it's just my name my first name and my middle name Zuri Hadia and it's always linked in the description box below follow me over there if you want to support my acting career I would really appreciate that girl I need all the support I can get and y'all prayers work y'all see it works it's real um, so yeah follow me over there and I'll be posting while I'm on set and stuff so yeah, I didn't announce it on Instagram yet. Anyways, I'm out of space on my um, camera card. So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next clip, probably tomorrow, maybe tonight, who knows. You guys, look at my room. What in the world is going on? I'm like trying to get content in um, and I'm trying to finish this video. So I'm trying to film at the same time uh, production keeps hitting me up about like what to bring tomorrow if they need anything like undergarments or anything extra to wear with the wardrobe they already have so girl I just been going through my entire closet like I, I'm like I might as well just do a closet clean out at this point because I've taken literally everything out anyways just checking back in with you guys it's a little bit later I am still editing the video. I haven't even actually started editing a video, to be honest with you guys. I was just getting all the clips organized and off of the hard drive. And I realized I still am missing one part of the video. Um, which I'm going to see if it's on my other... Because I have two memory cards. So I'm going to see if it's on my other memory card. But I was also trying to find a way to the shoot tomorrow because everybody's kind of carpooling together that's a good thing but the bad thing about that is a lot of people there's only a few amount of cars and everybody's full people's cars are full so and I don't want to be like oh you know say to casting like oh I don't I don't have a car so like I don't know how I'm gonna get there like they've already put me in a group of carpooling people that are carpooling out there like even people with cars are carpooling because it's so far um, by the way, I live in Burbank, California, and the shoot is in Oakland, California. So if you're familiar with that, then you know. That's like a six-hour drive. So it's a road trip, which I don't mind taking you guys with me tomorrow to the road trip. But, girl, I just decided it was just getting stressful. Like, I'm not going to pay for Uber all the way to Oakland and back. That's just too much money. So I think I'm going to rent a car. I looked at Get Around and Toro. So then I went to Get Around and I did find a few cars, but the deposit that they're requiring, mm, child, why do you need all that money? And that's not the, like, they're like, oh, we will refund you after you return the car. 
like the remainder of the fee or what I, girl I don't know anyways so I think I'm gonna book either a get around car or I did check out Enterprise because there is a car rental place like literally down the street from me and they have something available for like a hundred and seventy seven dollars like two hundred dollars I don't know what I'm gonna do but yeah we're, we're we're looking at renting a car and just making it a road trip but I am so super tired because it is now like going on five o'clock and I have not closed out all of the things on my list I did get my audition done I did get some of the stuff done for my shoot tomorrow the only other thing that's kind of pending is getting my uh, video up my pink Wednesday video up and also editing and scheduling some posts for Instagram and TikTok. Um, you guys know I'm back over there. So I need to get that up. And I want to get it up for... I want to at least get it scheduled and filmed and edited for the rest of the week. Thursday and Friday. Just so I don't have to worry. Like Friday, obviously, I'll be off. But Thursday, I will not have time to do anything. Because my call time is at 9 o'clock in the morning. And the drive is already five hours, so that means I need to literally leave at 4 a.m. So I need to go to bed tonight. I don't even know. Yeah, I need to go to bed um, early tonight. So that part. So later on, I might go pick up the car. But other than that, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm just wearing this random outfit um, because they asked me if I had a pink top and a pink cardigan. I'm like, do I have a pink top and a pink cardigan? Yes. <laughs> Look at all of these pink tops and cardigans for sure so i put this one on for them because i think the commercial they said is happening in the fall time like around this time of year but the commercial ad will run until march of next year so it kind of has to be fall but also could be early spring so yeah they're looking for like cute tops that are covered but also like not too covered not like a hoodie or anything like that anyways i hope they find what they're looking for and they pick they actually already have um an outfit for me but i think they just wanted me to bring like some extra options and yes they do pay for me to bring my own wardrobe like if i bring this top they will they're paying me a fee to bring my own stuff so happy about it um yeah but yeah, I, uh, I don't even know what else I have to say. I'm super tired. I just want to check in with you guys. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next clip. Real quick, you guys. I was getting ready to leave. And mind you, I haven't been in this bathroom. He showed me what fixtures that he was going to put in here. He had a box with him. But I have not been in this bathroom until just now. And tell me why, y'all. My bathroom looks like somebody robbed me, not robbed me, but like somebody came in here and like there was an explosion. This was actually like sitting on the floor and I picked it up. Cabinets are wide open. All of this stuff is moved around. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like dirt and debris from him like banging, disheveling, whatever he did. The bathroom is so disgusting. There's like black dirt everywhere you probably can't see it in the camera on the floor all of this stuff i don't even know where this stuff this i mean some of this was probably underneath the sink but what is this this is his like dirty towels that he was using because i saw him walking around with dirty towels dirty towels left my mat is all screwed it's wet it stinks and it has dirt all over it the the um stand that was here he then put into the bathtub i i am so confused as to why someone would do all of this like he could have told me that it was like a mess i would have easily moved everything from underneath the sink but it's just like the last guy that we had come and fix anything he moved stuff but he also put it right back so like why is this stuff sitting all out and you left your dirty towel sir sir you left your dirty towels Anyways, I'm about to go pick up the rental car because I actually made a reservation with Enterprise. What is that, my tea? Oh. Good morning, dolls. Guess what day it is? It's Sunday. It's the last day of this weekly vlog. And girl, 
when is the last time I talked to y'all? Cause I, I don't even know. I haven't even looked over the footage. I haven't even started editing this vlog and it's going up tomorrow. So today is going to be majority of me editing this vlog. But uh, I can't even remember. I think the last time I talked to you guys was when I was in the car driving home from Oakland from shooting the McDonald's commercial. Is that the last time? I think that's the last time. Well, I guess I'll find out once I start editing. But yeah, so I made it back home. You guys, that was the roughest drive that I have ever done outside of when I moved here and I drove to California. I realized that I am not a road trip girl. Like people keep asking me like, girl, let's go on a road trip. Um, this guy that I was going on dates with, which we'll talk about girl in a sit down. It's coming, it's coming. You guys are gonna get all the tea, but he was like, oh, let's go on a road trip. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I would like that or not. Girl, I know I will not like it. I do not like being in the car. I think part of it is just like, I'm claustrophobic. Cost. I'm sorry, I could barely talk because of my aligners. I think it's just that I'm a little bit claustrophobic and I don't like being in small spaces for long periods of time. Like it just makes me super antsy. Um, I'm like that with planes as well. And I think also um, just being on the road and just seeing the open road for a long period of time does something to my brain. It just makes me wanna go to sleep. So it's hard for me to even stay awake. It's just not for me you know i think i could do like an hour drive with someone if we took turns but anything longer than that girl i was on the road for seven hours and the distance from where i live i live in burbank it's about six hours away but i was on the road for seven because i stopped i took a nap um and then i got back up and it was times where i had to pull over on the side of the road because i just could not stay awake bunny was on the phone with me the whole time checking on me trying to keep me up girl i was paying me loud music i did i did all the tricks and i had the roughest time i honestly cannot even remember and i don't know how i made it back home but i did make it <laughs> and um so yeah so now we're back home and i don't think i've vlogged since then i think that was let me see what day that was because today is sunday you guys okay so that was thursday the 13th you guys so thursday the 13th i think is the last time i talked to you so i haven't talked to you friday or saturday i really needed those two days you guys to just decompress um, and I'm still honestly decompressing, but I'm coming back into myself. I'm feeling a little bit more rested and I'm ready to jump back in. I think by tomorrow, which is Monday, I'll be ready to be like back on the ball. But girl, I was so tired. Hey, I'm mainly focusing on just, like I said, decompressing but also resetting. The house has been a mess. And when I say a mess, it's not like seven kids type mess it's just a mess in the sense where it's like things are out of place because i really haven't been around and stuff like that so i just been resting girls sleeping and eating for the most part and watching trash tv um but yeah you guys so today i'm going to be focusing on cleaning up the apartment and i'm going to be making a cleaning video i know i haven't done a cleaning video in a long time and that's because it just wasn't getting the views like nobody was watching it and nobody it seemed like no it seemed like you guys weren't interested in it and you weren't watching it but i do want to make this cleaning video um i've been wanting to make a pretty pink aesthetic cleaning video and so i'm hoping that this video will be that i just experimenting and try to be creative with ways to make videos um so yeah that i'm gonna be cleaning today and then also you guys i bought a pumpkin ah she's so cute i bought this white pumpkin i'll show you guys in just a second in the kitchen but i got this white pumpkin because i want to make my very first jack-o-lantern i never made a jack-o-lantern in my life this jack-o-lantern is actually going to be a hello kitty jack-o-lantern so for all you hello kitty fans i know there's a bunch of you out there i think you guys are going to love this diy you're probably going to want to do it yourself now i've never done this diy before so i just saw a photo of it and i was like that's cute i wouldn't do that but i've never actually tried it so i might mess up you guys are going to be with me along for the ride let me show you where i found it like i said i get a lot of my ideas from pinterest by the way 
speaking of pinterest there's just so much uh thievery on pinterest and by that i mean like why is everyone taking my pictures and posting them like they're their photos on their profiles i'm talking about people with thousands of followers on pinterest i have 200 followers on pinterest like pinterest is not my thing but I keep seeing my photos pop up everywhere. Why? Because I am in the pink community and I am on the pink feed. So I'm seeing all of my photos. I'm like, where are they? What? Where do these come from? Someone's literally taking my photos from my Instagram and uploading them to Pinterest. And it's not one person. I've gone on there yesterday and I found at least three people who have just posted all of my photos on their page. So I did reach out to them and I asked them if they could credit me for the photos and or remove the photos. I don't mind if people wanna share my work as long as they credit me for the work and not pretend like it's theirs. Anyway, that got a little, kind of annoyed me a little bit because um, I was just like, why? Like people are weird. Like that shit's so weird. Like, are you that uncreative that you will take somebody else's stuff and use it as your own? Like just so freaking weird to me anyways uh yeah so i was in the process of showing you guys the ideas i got by the way this is another thing i want to say too and i'm not talking about like these people are clicking on my photos on pinterest and saving the pin they're not just clicking on my photo and saving the pin they're downloading my photo and re-uploading it as if they already posted it like it's a difference you can save a pin to a pinterest board and when the person goes to click on that photo it'll show you the original creator that created the post that's not what people are doing they're literally downloading my photos and re-uploading them like they're their photos and these people have thousands of followers and i have literally 200 like they're probably making so much money from pinterest posting other people's photos it's sad but anyways, I don't want to I don't want to be negative today. I will worry about fixing that. I'll probably end up um, talking to um, my manager about it and seeing what is possible that we can do to stop that from happening. But speaking of manager, you guys look you you'll get the tea in the um, in the update video in the T to Z video. Anyways, my point is that when I get an idea from Pinterest, I always just save it to one of my Pinterest boards. And most times my ideas are saved to, are set to private. So nobody else can see those Pinterest boards. The only things that are public are the boards that I create with my content. I don't post other people's content. And even if I do leave the board unlocked and public for people to see, I save the pin with the original creator's information on there. FYI and that's the way you guys should do it if you're on Pinterest like I, I don't know who's doing in this stuff but anyways I want to show you guys the Hello Kitty idea that I got and this actually came from a girl who stole my photos as well she had this on her profile it is a Hello Kitty jack-o-lantern you guys how cute is that that is too cute. So when I saw it, I was just like, oh, I want to make this. I clicked on the girl's profile and went inside of her profile and tell me why I had like, she had like 15 of my photos saved to her profile like it was her photos. This is not my photo. It's not, but it was a great idea and I actually am going to do it. So that's what we're going to be doing in just a second here. I'm going to take you guys into the kitchen and we're going to try to attempt to make this Hello Kitty a Jack Leonard. Um, now, I've never carved a pumpkin before, so I don't really know that I'm going to gut and carve this pumpkin. I don't even know that that would be something that I could do because I've never actually done that before. But I'm thinking like what I might just do is leave the pumpkin whole and just cut out the ears. You see how she cut out the ears? She cut out the ears like that. And then I, I don't know. Can I do that? Guys, comment below and let me know because I've never done this before. Can we just cut the ears and leave the stuffing in? Like, I don't want to go through taking all the guts out. Or is it going to go spoiled or something? Let me know. But yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I'm super excited to try this out. Now, the pumpkin that I got, I'm going to show you guys in just a second. It didn't come. I ordered a white pumpkin. It didn't come entirely white. I'll show you guys in a second. 
um but anyways the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is my nails you guys see i'm not i don't have any nails on today i had these really pretty brown nails that i posted on instagram you guys probably already saw them and i literally wore them for a day and took them off because i knew i would be doing the cleaning video and cleaning a lot and i also knew that i had to do the jack-o-lantern and i didn't know i just didn't want pumpkin guts in my nails so i took them off but i will be putting them back on but i'll just pop up a photo on the screen of the nails that's the photo of the nails um if you guys follow me on instagram again you already saw it girl i was kind of confused about the nails because i thought that they were bomb like when i first saw them i was like oh my god these are like so cute for fall i can't wait to wear these in the fall time and then when i put them on girl i was like are these giving me roach vibes because they were looking i don't know the color brown that they were were giving me roach and i wanted more of like mocha caramel macchiato type vibes but i was just getting roach vibes for some reason girl i don't know i'll pop the photo up on the screen so you guys can let me know if you like them or not but <laughs> sorry guys this guy who's like oh we we've like we're flirting we're not no girl no i i do not be messing with these men because these men are crazy and they don't begin the help that they need and they be out here trying to date you and do stuff with you and trying to have a relationship with you but their mind isn't right like they talk about they can offer you this and that I can offer you this i got money i got a career i can offer you this i got you can't offer me anything if your mind's not right if you're not mentally stable up here there's what you're gonna offer me and i just don't want i don't want the problems but this guy he is he's like he's it's like nothing serious at all super light super light like i worked with him on a project and um I don't know I work with him on a project and um what should I say I don't really want to talk about it right now on camera okay but just he's just funny like he's we go back and forth but he's like his type of his way of flirting is very very mean I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that like you've ever had dated a guy not dated a guy but you ever had a crush on this guy like in middle school and they were like super mean to you and then you found out later when you got older they that they're being mean to you because they have a crush on you it was, it's like that it's like a middle school type crush type thing where it's like he's mean to me but he had it's because he has a crush on me and i know this because he told me <laughs> because i confronted him about being mean to me i was like you're like incredibly mean to me and i don't like it and he <laughs> and he was like that's because i like you and i was like oh well you have a funny way of showing it <laughs> anyways um that's just fun stuff like um anyways we'll talk about that in a sit down video uh, so right now i'm gonna go ahead and get off my phone for one because i'm talking to you guys it's so rude um i'm gonna drink my tea i'm having black tea with oat milk which is so good if you guys have not tried it try it hi bucking you gonna say hi to your friends she's been grumpy bunny's out of town so she doesn't like it when we're both not here Okay guys, that's enough rambling. Let's hop up and go into the kitchen so I can show you guys what we're working with. <sighs> oh, I didn't show you guys my PJs. I'm finally wearing my wine PJs. Obsessed. <laughs> Look at my socks with the pumpkins. Today is just so fall. It's so gloomy. It's been like this for two days. I think yesterday a little bit of the sun popped out, but for the most part, it's been so gloomy. I'm loving it. It's giving me all the fall vibes. So, so excited for that. Uh, let me see. Try to hold my phone and my tea. And you guys. So, uh, let's go to the kitchen. No treats, honey. She's been just eating treats to the point where she won't eat her food. So now I have to take the treats away from her. She's not happy about it. But we're going on a treat strike. Okay, so let me show you guys. It's a little bit dark in here because like I said, today is a gloomy day. But I brought all of my craft supplies that I plan on doing with the, the Jack Leonard with. Oh my God, look at how she came. Now she is a little bit lumpy. Babe has a little bit of imperfections. But she's okay. I think she's perfectly imperfect. Now you guys can see what I mean by the color, like it's not white white. I ordered a white pumpkin and it looked white online. By the way, I ordered this from the grocery store from Walmart, but it's not really like white white. It's kind of giving yellow. So I think I'm gonna spray paint it with this white paint spray paint. 
I think that would be the best route to go with it. Um, and I'm going to like show you guys me doing this. I'm also going to uh, upload a TikTok, so don't worry. But yeah, I think I'm gonna spray paint it white. And then I have this little bow here that I've had. I have a lot of these little bows. They're even on the side of the basket, but I have this little bow. And I was thinking that it could go here for her bow. But you guys, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it might be too big. Yeah, I feel like this bow might be too big. So I did grab some other ribbon. I have this one that has like the silver in it. And I thought that was pretty. I don't know if it's going to be big enough, but I thought it was cute. And then I also have this one that's a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. Just a plain pink one that might be the perfect size. Okay, and then for paints, I have two acrylic paints or three I'm sorry I have this pink acrylic paint I think if I'm not mistaken Hello Kitty's nose is pink so I want to paint her nose with this one I also just have this like gold glitter paint just in case I want to get extra like creative and do something like sparkles in her eyes or something I don't know and then I also have um, this black acrylic paint that I'm gonna use for like her whiskers and stuff in her eyes. And then I also grabbed some Sharpies cause I'm gonna draw before I paint it on. And then I have this like Sharpie pen that I'm literally gonna use for the cutouts to like mark where I wanna do the ears. Yeah. Oh, and then also for this project, I have a glue gun and this is just to glue the bow down. So I think this is everything we need outside of a paintbrush, which I will go grab in just a second. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys set up. I think the first step is to get some newspaper or some uh, wrapping paper. I think I have some wrapping paper, maybe plastic. And I'm just going to take her out on the patio and give her a quick spray. Um, but before that, I'm going to do the before. For the um, for my TikTok, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Another husband in my DM, sir. Aren't you engaged? I got every right how to talk. How I want. So it's a little bit later, and the pumpkin is still drying. Like I kind of prematurely touched it and put on the second coat before it was completely dry which made a few little marks and mistakes that I had to fix but it's pretty much just drying right now it has its second coat on um, and I'll show you guys actually don't mind my dirty room <laughs> there it is it's out there you guys see it there she is yeah, she's just drying right now and once she's dry I'll be able to go into cutting out her ears and painting her and putting her together I'm so excited I love the way this white color looks I'm so happy that the paint was like a glossy paint and not like a matte paint because this just looks so much more glamorous also thinking about painting the stem gold but not hundred percent sure if I'm gonna do that or not we'll have to see but yeah there she is and she's just drying but I figured while she was drying that I would just go to Burlington and Ross to check and see if I can find Pinky some stuff for photos. I want to take some photos of her. Her Instagram has been lagging. I've been lagging on it. Like I have tons of videos and stuff in my phone of her, but I just forget to post them. I just keep them for myself and I just look at them all the time. But I'm like, why am I not posting these on her Instagram? It's almost like I kind of forget she has an Instagram. But I wanted to do some cute fall photos with her and some Halloween photos, especially because I want to get up on my scrapbooking this year. Last year, I really sucked at it. This year, I definitely want to get photos printed out and do my scrapbook. So let me show you guys what I already kind of have for her in mind. Again, I know her the dirty room, but I want to take some fall photos with her. And I got this. You guys already saw this little sweater by Nautica and then I also have this sweater from Forever 21 that matches her sweater color wise perfectly so I was thinking that I would kind of do like a little cute photo shoot like a mommy and me fall photo shoot but then I was like eh, I could also use this for our Christmas photos because I do last year I messed up but I do plan on taking her to Petco 
or PetSmart. I can't remember where, which store it was at. But they'll take photos of you and your pet with Santa for free. Um, but it books out really fast. So I'm going to try and see if I can get in this year. And I thought maybe this might be cute if me and her kind of matched. But then I was like, hmm. I kind of want to get her like a better Christmas sweater. If it's going to be a Christmas photo, like I want the, the sweater or whatever she's wearing to have like something more Christmassy themed. I don't know you guys. I don't know if I'm going to use this for a fall photos or for Christmas, but I figured I know for sure that I want to go ahead and get like a Halloween costume for her. I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to go to Ross Burlington, see what they have. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys once I get back and the pumpkins dry and we can get into making it into a hello kitty jack-o-lantern okay guys bye i thought i was leaving the house but i'm actually not because this little one she won't let me leave <laughs> yeah we're talking about you she won't let me leave guys I go to the door, she grabs my ankles, I've played with her, um, I've fed, she's eaten, everything's good. Her litter box is clean, but she will not let me walk out the door. She got up on me and sat on me, <laughs> so I can't move. I hate, like, when she does this because she knows that she's doing it. She knows that I'm not going to move her if she's laying on me or sleep on me, so she gets on top of me. Anyways, I was sitting here thinking that I want to get a hot chocolate. It is fall, so yes, let's get a hot chocolate. I'm going to do that if she lets me leave the house. You going to let me go, monkey? Huh? You going to let me leave? <laughs> I don't think she has any plans on letting me leave. Look at these cute little paws. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. She has me. Look at the cute little hands. So I have no idea what I'm doing actually. So I need to find a knife to carve the pumpkin with. So I think I'm just going to use a knife and try to carve it that way. I've never carved a pumpkin before you guys so I'm a little nervous. But I think the best course of action is to mark and cut out the ears. And then I don't even know like, like that. Maybe a little bit more shorter. She has really short ears for a cat. That's something I noticed. So like maybe like that. I feel like this is a good a good shape for her ear. So I'm gonna lay that on top of the pumpkin and kind of just get like trace around it. Oh my god, what 
the fuck? What was I thinking that I was doing? I think we had to turn her over, cut all of her guts out, and then we'll be able to... Okay, so I cut out the ears. I'm not entirely sure what else I have to do, but I'm thinking now I have to turn her over and gut her because this is like crazy. I don't know what else, how to else to get this out. Like how else would you, how do you get the ears to come up without breaking it? I think you gotta have to, you gotta have to gut her and then cut her up. Okay, well, then let's gut her from the bottom, I think. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to take a quick little pause because I'm not entirely sure what to do and I have to kind of, oops, it's like bleeding everywhere and the paint's coming off because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> and like, I'm chipping the paint. So I'm going to have to get some white paint and touch her up a little bit. That's fine. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. We're going to have to gut her take all this stuff out. Get this stuff out. Girl, I have to come back to y'all. I have to gut this pumpkin and I've never done it this before so I have to look at videos. So I'm going to come back to you guys and let you guys see what I figure out. Okay dolls, so it is kind of gross but we did figure it out. Um, I ended up just cutting a hole at the bottom and then I'm just trying to get the piece out, the hole out. Cause it kind of fell in the middle so that's been kind of an issue getting this piece to come out i watched a youtube video you guys and they were like just lightly pry it out like it's not it's not prying out lightly this is uh, i feel like i'm pulling somebody's brains out it's so gross uh, oh oh my god you guys Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh, it's just so gross. I can't. Oh my god, you guys. Look at that. That's so gross. Like, seriously. I have a smaller knife that I should probably get in there with. But I think a spoon would be even better to use at this point. This scooper because it just makes sense to me. It's not really getting much though. Definitely gonna have to repaint it. All the paint's coming off, so it was wrong. Oh my goodness. This feels so wrong, I'm telling y'all. Yes, baby. This is gross and disgusting. Um, okay. Oh, there goes her ear. Sorry, you guys. You're like not in frame at all. You can't see what's going on. There goes her ear. I keep scooching over. Uh, there goes her little ear. You guys see that? That's her ear. You guys can see. Oh, sorry. You can see where the paint is like coming off, like got scratched off from me working on it. Honestly, I should have did the carving before I did the paint. You live and you learn. So I'm going to go ahead. This is how it's supposed to look with the Hello Kitty ear there. I'm gonna go ahead and take out her ears and then I'm gonna rinse all of this off and take this outside to be respray paint it. <laughs> because yeah, we want it to look cute. I just delivered a baby you guys okay so the camera's about to die but here's where we're at I'm just going to rinse all of these pieces off clean this off a little bit more clean the inside a little bit more then we're gonna take her outside and spray paint her okay let me charge you guys. okay guys so I brought my pumpkin back inside I left the ears outside because I want to give them another coat of spray okay honey I hear you but you can't have treats right now 
Um, I want to give it another coat of spray. I also want to dry out a little bit, so that's still outside. Honey, you gotta hold on a second. Mommy's doing something. She's like, give me treats or I'm not gonna shut up. How about that? Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into the next step, which I have my water and my paint here, so we're gonna start painting in a second. Let's go ahead and start doing her eyes, I think will be the next step. So what do you guys think? Is it looking like her? Kind of, sort of, maybe. I think it kind of looks like her. The only thing I feel like is the nose is a little crooked, so I'm gonna change up the nose. So I'll have to fix that part of her nose, like just ignore that, but I think she does look like resemble Hello Kitty, which is so great. Oh my god, I fucked the whiskers up so bad. I don't know, I think it kind of looks like her. Uh, the whiskers are kind of fucked. Yeah, they should go a little bit out and not as straight. So I have to fix her whiskers a little bit, but other than that, I feel like she's not in bad condition. So here's the paint that I'm using before anyone asks. Uh, and this is from, you can, I'm sure you can find this on Amazon, but I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm using the folk art paint for the colors. I don't know if what I'm going to use this on or if I'm going to use it. Uh, we'll see. But I just have this one. It's in the color baby pink, by the way. In case you guys are curious and you want to, case you want to follow along and do the DIY with me. The DIY, what I say is the DIY with me. A little bit of gold, so it's a smidge it right there. This stuff is thick. That's another thing I have to mention. Very thick. Um, okay, so paintbrush. Kind of a little nervous here. Okay, we're gonna start with the eyes. I think. Or should we start? Let's start with the nose because that's the paint part. I have some white parts that I need to clean up, like the eye and around the nose. But other than that, she cute or whatever. Is her eye straight, guys? Oh, her eyes are looking a little bit crooked to me. Well, her face is a little crooked, that's why. Because the pumpkin's kind of, he's not as symmetrical, that's all. We'll clean that up. She look better? I think she looks a little bit better. I mean, <laughs> I mean, no, baby. It doesn't look good. But, uh, I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I think these look bad because I need to come here and go up and then out and then down. So, girl, I think she's coming out pretty cute. Let me go grab that white paint. I'll be right back. Actually, let me finish this. I don't know what's going on with this side of the, the thing. I think that we're going to have to repaint this side of it. So I'm going to go ahead and repaint like white over this. I really messed this up, you guys. So I'm just going to paint white over that and then redo that. So I'm going to come back to you guys once I fix this. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I've painted the other side of her face white and I'm just trying to dry it really quickly. It looks like she has a bruise on the side of her face because of where the black was that we're trying to cover up. But that's okay, baby. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller pointing brush to just get in and clean up around her nose 
and show you guys what I mean when I say around her nose. You guys can see that little bit over there. I'm just gonna touch that up with a little bit of white paint. whiskers on this side that I messed up I totally effed that up but um yeah I think she's looking cute obviously Hello Kitty's nose is yellow I thought it was pink it's actually yellow but I don't care I turned it pink I'm fine with that this is another idea for you guys I was also thinking I could have painted her nose yellow traditional yellow and then added the gold glitter on top I still might add the gold glitter on her nose who knows but um yeah, I think she's coming out pretty pretty good actually. I'm kind of kind of proud of her. Okay guys, so I bought the ears back in here. Um, the side of the face is done drying, so I'm just going to um, create my whiskers on her. I just feel like because of the pumpkin is uneven, it's hard for me to get a good whisker, like a good, like this is all the way up here. That shouldn't be like that, but I mean, I mean it's really hard to get the whiskers right because the pumpkin is not in flat, even surface. So you're going across bumps and lumps, and that is what's making it really hard to paint. I don't know. I mean, it's there, right? It's not perfect, but it's there, and you can see it. And if you don't know that this is Hello Kitty, then clearly, you don't know who Hello Kitty is because this is definitely Hello Kitty. I mean, it's a little not perfect, but it's not gonna be perfect, you know what I mean? So, where's the other? Okay, let's just turn her back this way for a little blow dry. Okay, so now I want to give her a little bow. And as I was telling you guys before, I have this little bow here, but I'm afraid that it's too big. As you guys can see, I feel like it's a little, it's a little too big. So I have some ribbon here that I can try to tie a bow with. So this bow has been giving me so much trouble. Um, it's just not doing what I want it to do. The ribbon is not silky enough. So I've been trying to make it sit and I think I'm just gonna have to glue it in place at this point. So here's what I'm thinking. The little bow can go there. We're gonna go ahead and take the ears and pop those back on. You guys, did you see what I just did? Oh my God. I just ripped her head off, what the fuck? I was just trying to move the bow over a little bit, like right there. Damn, oh well, we're gonna have to just deal with it. She has some issues right here, and I might just put like rhinestones or something and try to cover that up. There she is though, you guys. That's why Hello Kitty, I think just her head right here is fucked and that's bothering me. So I think I have to figure out how to fix that little part. Um, and I also think I might want to put some white, some of this glitter on her ears just to make her ears sparkly. So I'm gonna take that outside and do that. And then I'll fix her head and I'll come back to you once I, guys, once I have her head fixed. Okay, bye -bye. So I found these little rhinestones and I thought I might just glue them where her head is kind of messed up in. And then also I brought out some Maj Paj and this glitter paint, or it's glitter paint. I brought out some Maj Paj and this glitter and I think what I'm gonna do is take her ears and Maj Paj glitter all over them. I think that'll be really cute. It looks like her lace front is coming off. That's what it looks like, y'all. 
We gotta glue that lace down. We gotta hide that with some little jewels or something. Can you have the lace showing? Uh -huh. So I think for now it's fine. Like ideally not what I would have wanted, but you know, it just looks like she has a cute little bow pin in her hair, which I'm good with. I don't know. I think it still looks like Hello Kitty at the end of the day. Yeah, we're gonna start with the Mod Posh. Hey guys, here's what it's looking like. Once they're all dry, I will set them back up there. I think it's gonna look really pretty. That's pretty much it, y'all. Like, we're done. I just have all of this mess over here to clean up. <laughs> My basket full of crafts. I love doing arts and crafts. I forget how much I love it until around the holidays. But yeah, I think she's coming out pretty cute. I'm actually happy with the fact that I made her nose pink. Um, I know a lot of people might be like, ah, oh, that's not correct. This is not the traditional Hello Kitty. It's like, it's okay. It's my version of Hello Kitty, so it's fine. You guys are more than welcome to do this DIY and do the nose yellow um, to satisfy you Hello Kitty fans. But yeah, I will be back with you guys when she's all done. Or you guys might, you can see her on TikTok too, but I'm pretty sure I'll come back and show you the rest. You guys, she is done. Isn't she so cute? I don't know if I'll do anything else with her, you guys, but I feel like she's for now done and she's so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with her. She is cute. Okay. You guys can see her more on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, bye. Quick update, you guys. I moved the trees over here. I think they look cuter. I took the pumpkin off of here so that we could access the coasters, even though we never do. Like this tray and these coasters are just decor. We never use this, but in the event that we needed to, if company came over, we could access them. And I think it looks cute with the two trees. I put the gold pumpkin here. I might move that because I feel like this area is a little stuffed and just the three pumpkins look good. But for now, I just put the gold pumpkin there to tie in the gold pumpkins over here. And sorry, I'm like having brunch because it's literally 1.30 and I'm having breakfast food because I didn't eat anything this morning. Um, and yeah, and this is what I did with the corner. I took all of the coffee bar tiered tray stuff down well not all of that I took all the tier little tray stuff down because I don't have a tier tray at the moment so it doesn't kind of make any sense or matter and I just put my Hello Kitty pumpkin here and I love her and then I kept the napkins of course I kept the cups so that we can have something to drink out of for to-go cups but yeah that's pretty much it until I get my like official tier tray I feel like this corner is gonna change like all the time <laughs> but yeah she's so cute I'm so obsessed with her and I'm so happy I think she looks so cute in the corner with everything else yeah I feel like this setup looks a lot a lot better just a lot neater I think